Yes, I'm recording. <laughs> Don't say that to people. Do you like? Hey guys, so today's makeover is of this little gem. The lady is moving to Florida, so good on her. Nice warm weather down there. Uh, she didn't want to take it with her. It's a beast. She's small, but she's heavy. She is, she's massive. You see him sneaking around in the back. Hello, oldest child. Like nobody out. was down here for like an hour and then I can't decide to come up and record an intro. Yeah, and now so. there's my watching the movie, there's like, No, I'm not gonna edit you out. I'm really happy with it this week. I think I say that every week. But uh, this had a few problems. Uh, the top was a problem, so it was something for me to work around and test some new skills, which was uh, really good for me. And it turned out really, really lovely. It looks nothing like it did when I first started. So I hope you enjoy the video. Whee! It's in bad shape, it's in really rough shape. I have chunks completely missing out of it. The stain is. I don't know. They must have spilt something on it. It doesn't look like somebody's attempted to fix it. It just looks like it got stains on it. The top drawer wouldn't come out because of those pins. So I had to pull the pins out from the side and then the drawer came out. And there is all junk all in there. It is another Facebook Marketplace find. I'm smiling. I'm actually excited about it because I love the challenge. I seem to like problems when it comes to furniture, so here we go. Time to clean. I'm writing the numbers on the drawer. I learnt my lesson from the last one. I kept playing drawer juggles. Drawer juggles? I had to keep moving the drawers around. It was a pain. really damaged part of the cabinet. <laughs> Follow the instructions, it says to put about that much in there and then I'm going to put a smidge of this, stir it all in. I need a smidge. So I'm going to put the Bondo over this part and here. I'm going to allow it to dry and then tomorrow when I come in and do all the sanding I'm going to sand it down and you shouldn't even be able to tell that there's a gouge. So today is sanding and getting paint on the piece. The paint that I have picked is uh, Dixie Belle's Black Sands. It has a built-in top coat, the silk, new silk paint from Dixie Belle, so it needs a really good stir. This piece is going to look really good in black. I'm going to bronze the like the detailing in the doors and stuff to bring that out, and possibly just bronze the um, handles as well. So 
So let me just explain what I did for the body of it, right? Scuff sanded. I scuff sanded the drawers inside of the things. The top started with an 80 grit to get it back to bare wood. Then I did 100, 150, 240 um, to get it nice and smooth. Now, uh, I already knew this when I when I saw it, um, but there were two big round stains. I'm probably going to try a stain slash paint wash over the top of it to try and mask the pot stain. I think somebody's put a pot there, some plants or something, and some water. It's just wrecked it. So, that was a lot. I'm glad it's over. So I've decided I'm going to prime using the Dixie Bell Boss in grey in here, in everywhere, just because I don't want any smells coming through the paint. It's, I can't describe the smell, it's not a bad smell, it's just a smell. I love old furniture. I just feel like it's the best thing to do. So everything is getting a paint. Okay, so this is going to be a two part process. First part is I'm going to stain the top with Minwax Special Walnut. Then we're going to do the second part, which is a watered down version of the color we're going to paint the body of it, which is black sands. I've got my Dixie Bell Gator Hide sponge. Um, nice long strokes. Ah! Helps if your dolly is underneath. Mm -hmm. Nice long strokes. Wood stain in black cherry. it's a lot darker don't be afraid if you don't like your first stain it's not dark enough get a darker stain and you can stain right over the top of it really happy with that okie dokie I just literally did a little dribble of the paint that's going on the body and watered it down like grey water basically moody but I like it now I've also done a top coat and it looks really good it's definitely going to need a second coat because you can um, see the the undercoat through it I've watched Rachel over on 
Mona Lane Furniture on her YouTube channel and she used uh, she did a comparison with the a Dixie Belle silk paint with other paints and in that she gave a tip of it's not like to regular chalk paint when you're working with it you you paint it on and you have a shorter work time so you can't over overwork paint with strokes too much you don't want to do that otherwise you're going to get strokes in your in your paint and it's not going to look very good so you should do <clears throat> don't put too much on your brush but do nice um, strokes down your piece and finish that section and then move on to the next section and then don't worry about it you'll come back and when you do a second coat you'll get a better coverage because then the second coat will cover up what's what's coming through and so this is a great example of why I like to paint my pieces laying down or upside down right so you can see when I did paint it the first time upside down I got all of these pieces in the undercoat but then when I it's just a more professional look, I think. If even though the customer is going to stand this in their room, they are never going to see it. But when they're moving their furniture, they will see it. Um, it's just a more professional look if if this and this that you see and the undersides of it are all the same look as your the rest of your piece. Just my humble opinion that it just looks more professional. So coming in and getting all the pieces that I've just oh I forgot to mention the top. Okay, what you did see me do yesterday was put on a layer of the special walnut and then I put cherry over the top of it and I really liked it. And then with a watered down version of what's on the body of the piece, I took a brush and I basically dry brushed over the top of it. I was, it was okay, but I wasn't completely happy with it. I dipped a rag in my, the special walnut and I just ran it over the top of the entire piece and now it's perfect. I don't want to touch it. I'm going to do a matte finish uh, with the poly on the whole piece. boiled it in vinegar and put my elbow into it. That's just it's amazing. That's what that is.
What did you think? Let me know uh, in the comments below what you thought I asked that, but I really genuinely mean it. Uh, I am curious as to what you thought of it. I'm not just asking you for parts that you like, but maybe is there something that you would have done differently? I'm taking a break. I've come up to take a break from working downstairs, so I'm working on my next piece, and it's, it's a complete repurpose, and I will see you guys on a video next week. Bye.